minutes after 10 o'clock, it's time to talk about your automobile. <laughs> uh, Matt Gibbs is in the studio. He is the owner of Sunrise Automotive here in Ocala and the host of this show. It's called Auto Repair with Personal Care. Your questions are, what fuels this engine? How about that? How about that? Huh? And uh, the phone number to call, to the, uh, that's the gas tank. The gas tank to put your fuel through is through the WOCA Climate Control Source Hotline, 622-WOCA. Good morning, Matt. Typically, when we say it blew up, we 
talk, we're referring to the motor. Yeah, yeah I figured that. Blew up. What exactly happens in it? Well, there's all kinds of things that uh, the one that that I'm dealing with right now okay, is so spun a rod bearing. So blew up just means it's no good. Yeah, it's that's all it means. Okay. Yeah. It can be resurrected. A lot of times it can be resurrected, but yeah. Yeah. for the most part, as long as as long as the stuff didn't blow out, if they can blow. It, they can blow up. That's okay. But when they blow out, Just that's a bad that. thing. Just turn that. Out. Okay, so I, I have a, a one more question for you. All right. An engine. I'm going to re replace the, the smart plug. Not because uh, I need to, because it starts. But it's been like, it's got to be 10 years. So do I need it? Should I buy one? If I do, do they sell them anymore? And, and is it going to be expensive? And, uh, they're probably three to five dollars for a that's spark it. plug. That's it. Okay. But if it starts, why why would you replace the spark plug? It's only got one cylinder. So if that, that one, if that's our plug is not working, you will know. Because it won't start. Because there's only one. Right. So I won't get it. It just looks crappy. It looks, it looks ugly. Like it maybe needs to be. Actually, you probably should. You should probably change your spar plug. When was the last time you cleaned the air filter? Oh, I do that every year. Oh, okay. I do that at the beginning of the season, which is... Okay. You've probably been mowed, mowing your lawn already. I haven't. Well, I, I just brought my tractor, my mower, down to the shop and changed oil and... Got it out the oh, so you haven't done it yet either? No, I mean, I mowed right in front of our house because it's we got these like weeds growing that look like little trees. So the front of my yard looks like a little forest. I have now. them too. I have them too. So, so when you say clean the air filter. Let me tell you what I do and tell me if I'm doing it right. I soak it with gasoline and wring it out. That's it. <laughs> Is yeah, that that's it? fine. That'll do it? Yeah, but just make sure it's nice and dry before you put it back in. What'll happen if it's not? Well, if it's still wet, then you're going to then you'll need to replace that spark plug because <laughs> you'll, 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 you know, you'll flood that cylinder with fuel. So just as long as it's nice and clean. Uh, yeah, it usually is. So you're talking about the little foamy thing that goes around the air filter? Right. Isn't that the air filter? Well, that's the foamy thing around the air filter. Oh, okay. And then there's the air filter itself. Oh, maybe I don't know where the air filter is then. Well, when you take the air filter out, there should be a filter. And, then, and a lot of the lawnmowers use a foam wrap that goes around it. That's funny. You just peel the foam off, you clean that, <laughs> and you should replace <laughs> the 
filter and put, you know, a lot of, yeah, a lot of times when you buy a new filter, it comes with a new foam, a foam wrap around it. Maybe I didn't, maybe I lost that somewhere along the way. Maybe it's just a foamy thing now. Huh. Hmm. Oh, yes, yes. Uh, you, is it a push mower? Yeah. Okay, yeah. Then it's just a foamy thing. Okay. All right. Uh, <laughs> I know you don't want to talk about lawnmowers. Uh, good morning, you're on the air. Years ago, when you went for an oil change, uh, you know, they used to check your differential. They did it, it, it loosen that screw back there, and then the guy would stick his little finger in there to make sure there was enough oil or, or grease or whatever it is. They don't, they don't, that's all self, that's all sealed up nowadays. On newer cars, right? No, no, no. If it's if it's got a rear differential, you you can there's still a plug oh, to check it with. Oh, there is. Oh yeah. Yeah. I was going to say uh, the, the, that Rambler and those cars. Those are uh, built by American Motors. That was just all. Oh, that's right. American yeah, American Motors, yeah. 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 I guess they were in cahoots with Studebaker or whatever, and in, a, in a way in the beginning, and then they, they phased that out, and then it was just the uh, the Ramblers and the whatnot. And I had one of those little, remember those little Metropolitans? Yeah. Yes. When I was in high school, I had one of those, and uh, it was a nice, it was a little car, you know. Yeah. <laughs> it, was, it was fun to drive, and uh, I, I kind of missed that car a little bit. I wish I still had it. It'd probably be uh, worth a couple of bucks, you know. <laughs> uh, a real quick question. I know you're, you're into racing and all. Do uh, you know what the difference between an Indianapolis type racing car and a Grand Prix? They're both both races were on, on on TV this weekend, and they look a little different, but, but they're basically the same. Is there much difference between those two? And if, if they race them together, would one be better? You know, I I I've never gotten into the Indy and, oh, and okay. the GP kind of racing. Yeah. My wife just says I don't have enough time for for all the racing, so yeah. I have yeah. to be kind of picky and choosy. Yeah, I would imagine the horsepower is pretty much.
from what I understand, you know, it cost them a hundred million dollars wow. to 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 go with wow. season. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. You like know. like a uh, like a NASCAR a, a stock car engine. What what would just the price of an engine be about? I have no idea. I know that on on the not on the NASCAR level, but some of the uh, like late models. Yeah. And, you know, there's the um, um, Jack Roush actually makes motors. For you know, uh, like late models racing and open yeah. wheel modified, and some of those motors can be you know seventy, eighty thousand dollars wow. just for a motor. Yeah, yeah, and that's for a guy taking it over to the Ocala Speedway and. <laughs> and racing on Saturday night. I mean, some of these guys take this stuff real, real serious, and they do. A lot of those kind of guys, they travel the country and yeah. and, and and they race. Yeah. Well, ra- racing at that level, you know, they're, they're not long races and stuff. I would imagine an engine would hold up much longer, you know. Yeah, they'll, they'll, you know, they'll, they'll go through quite a bit of racing, but, yeah, you know, if you win a race in, in some of these big money races, yeah, well, if you won the race, you're getting tore down. So they they're tearing your motor down. Okay. Before you go home to make yeah. sure you didn't cheat. And yeah. Now you got to put the thing all back together again. You know. I mean, I, oh, you know wow. what I'm saying that's it's, crazy. It's yeah. crazy. Yeah. Okay, well, thanks a lot. Nice talking to you. Same here. You bet. I know. Man, make sure you didn't cheat. And that's just, that's just part of the course? That's what they do all the time? Well, I mean, even when we race, even when Joey started racing the karting, if, if we run, if we won a race at the cart, it, you go through tech. You know, they may, they may do simple things like they may check your fuel and make sure that you don't have hot fuel. Hmm. Uh, they may tell you, hey, we're tearing the motor down. We're checking. We're checking the rod. We're checking. We're checking everything. Yeah. You know, and 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 you have to let them do whatever uh-huh. whatever it is that they want, or you get disqualified. Go back to something he said at the beginning uh, about checking the gr- the grease. The rear end fluid. Yeah. Um, and, and and all of those lubricating things that we often don't think about. In fact, I never think about them. I'm, I'm hoping that when I go to you for the audience, you, you guys do it all, right? Yes. So is that the grease, like the old grease gun my dad? No, no, no. no. He's talking about the the actual fluid that's in the in the rear differential. Okay, okay. You know what I'm saying? Your car, you don't have a rear differential. You have a 
a transaxle. You have a transmission and an axle assembly in one unit. Okay. And, that, and, and you would just look at that and say, that's my transmission. But that's what drives your front wheels because you have a front wheel drive car. Okay, but now, again, you know that I know very little about this stuff, but, but my dad used to have a grease gun right, right, right. put onto the bearings by the wheels. Well, well that, that was for your ball joints. Did you do uh, that? Or lower. Well, well, a lot of of the a lot of the cars today they don't they come from the factory without grease fittings because you, you don't, don't grease need, them. you don't need to well it's not that you don't need to I, I guess you know somewhere down the line you know it it's like everything else at all all comes down to money, and and somewhere down the line, and they just said, you know what, we're we're gonna pack them from the factory with grease, and it should last the their their estimated time of this part's life is well beyond the warranty issue. Okay. Wow. So now if you if you do have a bad ball joint, which I, I see more ball, jo ball joints bad today than I have in all the years I've been doing this. Wow. Why? Just because they're not made, I, I don't feel like they're made with the material and the things that they were made with. What happens when they go bad? Do the wheels just stop turning? Or they no, no, it's actually, hot. you know, they, they, they make noise, they squeak, there's a lot of pull. You wear out your tires. Do they get hot? Uh, they don't really get hot. They just, you know, it's it's when you turn a corner. Yeah. Well, well something's got to let the the tire turn. Yeah. So your yeah. ball joints are there, and that's how what it pivots on. Uh huh. Uh huh. Okay, and, that, and then you get play, and, and oh, wow. <laughs> all right, let's go back to the phone. Good morning, you're on the air with Matt. Good morning. This is the other one in, in the area that listens and enjoys this program. Um, when Rambler became AMC. They were a car called the 
Me and my wife, we were leaving out of town last weekend, and we were driving down the road, and we saw an old gremlin for sale on the side of the road. I said to my wife, I said, who's going to buy that? Somebody will buy it. You know why? Because there's a butt for every seat. <laughs> there's somebody. Well, wait a will minute. Buy it. Wait a minute. Didn't didn't uh, the gremlin come out about the same time as the leash suit? something, doesn't it? We just had a different idea of what was nice back then. That's you you know, they always say that history always repeats itself. So we got another one coming up. Oh, Lord. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think it's these electric cars. Yeah, some of them are kind of... No, you know what my yeah. complaint is? about cars now. The, I, I said this. We, where did we go? We went someplace. Oh, we went to the Student Media Festival last year. And, and you know, this is where the kids all make these videos. And so we're at the high school. And, and Robin and I come out. And then the park is filled with cars, mostly from students. Okay. And I said, you know what? We had better looking cars when we were kids. I don't know if I ever shared that with you. Maybe I did. But, but it, it seems like they all kind of look the same now. But back then, there was a lot different look. Cars, right, right. you know what I mean? Right. And Camaro was probably the king in the parking lot at my school. Yep. Yep. I don't know. It just seemed like it. Uh, well, I guess you gotta push up for a second. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good I'm 
not an old car person. You don't know that kind of stuff. Huh? No. I, I, you know, it's it's funny how you know some of these guys that they. I, I have a friend that can look at a car and and, and he he can tell you what, what day of the week it was made, where <laughs> it was made, how what the interior was supposed to be like. It, it just blows my mind that he has that kind of knowledge. And I, I just never, when I got into the business, uh -huh. I got into a situation where, you know, these are these are people's cars that, that have to pick up their children, and 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 from that moment on. I can, you know, I can go back, back into the early '80s, and, and I can, I can just look at things, and and I know what it came with from the factory, and I know what it was equipped with, and but beyond that, I, I. You know, someone will say that's a fifty-five, and I'm like, okay, then that's a fifty-five. <laughs> you know that? Actually, that's a year I might know. Fifty-five uh, for some reason. No, here's a question from Robin. Uh, how do you clean out the windshield washer hoses? My, my, it says my mom has pollen built up in there, and now when the water sprays, the pollen comes out, and the window stays messy. There's pollen in the window washer. Yeah, there's. Oh wow. Well, we can take we take the actual the reservoir that holds the windshield washer fluid, take it out, clean it all up because they'll they'll start growing fungus and all kinds of stuff in there, and then we take a low pressure air will will reduce our air pressure. On our in our on our airlines, and we'll actually blow right through the hose through the nozzle and everything, blow it out nice and clean. Yep, absolutely. <laughs> you just bring it in. And, and you've uh, Robin, Robin has a uh, a leaky uh, what what do you call it? A window washer. All right, let me show you this little car. <laughs> this is something I was showing on the uh, You can go to everybody, you can go to my Facebook page. I hate the way this, these monitors are now. I don't know why they're so tight to the. See that little car? Yeah. Was that, that was it in your family? Yeah. Wow. What is it? I don't know what it is. It looks like it has wood wheels. <laughs> <laughs> I'm older than I look, right? I, don't, I have no idea what it is. Look, it had a, a, now the, the rumble seat in the back. I, I, I have. Yeah, see, see where it says the, the, the name pointing down? That's my mom. It's pointing to my mom when she was a little girl. Wow. Now that's cool. No, 
idea what that is. Huh? I have no, no, no. I'm guessing that that was 1930, uh, about. Yeah, it looks like definitely in the, so the late 20s to the early So if they didn't there. have much money, they probably bought an old car. That wouldn't be a new car. In other words, that's probably not a 1930 car. It's probably a 1920 car. I, no, I would say probably real high 20s, 28 through 32. Oh, okay. Something like that. Okay. Look and look at the the uh, the vents and the side of the uh, thing right there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's that's how we kept them cool back in them days. <laughs> I just thought I'd share that with you. It, it, it's, wow. it's just one of those things that I, I don't know anything about cars and. Just assuming that they were poor, which I always was under the impression they were not rich, they probably wouldn't buy a new car. Right. And she looks about, yeah, she looks maybe six years old or so in that picture. Wow. That's, now, that, that's cool. That, that's cool that you... You know, if you still had that car, wouldn't that be cool? Restore yeah. it up. Yeah. But see, that's what, that's what that's the truth about the the gremlin and the pacer and all those too. Right. The, the it'll pinto. Be so, so, right. The pinto. Right. Fifty years from now, <laughs> somebody will be sitting in a studio. <laughs> That 
might have been a horseless carriage. <laughs> yes, you know? I'm sure it was because right. my, my grandfather did ride a horse and everything when they came to this country. But this, this is my. I can see my mother was born in 1896. Uh, she married my father in 
same thing going uh, as we remember. Right. It must be. It, 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 right. That's right. They must have. They must still have full service. So there's another little car. And now that's my uncle's uh, first car. It says on the bottom there. My mom wrote on there. And and uh, one of our listeners actually put. She knows more about uh, cars than I do. Says it looks like a 1937 Hudson Terraplane. Hudson Terraplane. You ever heard of that before? I've heard of the Hudson, but not a Hudson terror plane. Look at those fenders. I know. There's more metal in that in that <laughs> left rear fender <laughs> than there is in most cars today. <laughs> Can't look back at cars today. We went from the uh, the Rambler to the to the Gremlin, <laughs> the Pinto. How about the Corvair? That was another one that had a bad reputation, didn't it? Actually, you know, the Corvair was a pretty cool car. It just had a terrible, terrible motor. Terrible motor. What was the problem with that? It was going on fire or something? A little leak in air cooled piece of junk. <laughs> and now there's some guys out there that, you know, love Corvairs and. I have a buddy of mine who must have 50 of them. Really? Yeah. And he just loves his Corvair. Uh -huh. And Vega. You know, Vega was another one. You buy a Vega, you better keep a gallon of oil in the car at all. I remember the the, my brother had a Vega. I remember that. I think that was his first car, as a matter of fact. My brother. You know, and look, just look. Look at, you know, you look at those pictures online and see where we were. And that wasn't that many years ago. No. No. You know what I'm saying? It, it really wasn't. And it, in the, in the scheme of things, look where cars have come in, in not that many years. Well, I had fun talking cars with you. And we always do. And where are you? We got we to gotta go get our, what, what When you get your oil change, what actually do you do? You change your oil. You change the other fluids. What are the other fluids? Well, we don't change the other fluids. We change the oil. Okay. We replace the oil filter. We check all the other fluids. Uh -oh. You know, the washer fluid, the coolant, the brake fluid, power steering fluid. We check all those transmission fluid. We check them. Um, unlike a lot of the, uh, a lot of our competitors, you know, they'll if they add coolant, they charge you a dollar fifty for this and two dollars for that. And, you know, we don't do that. We we just we do it. It's just part of who we are. Um, we check the air and the tires. We check all your lights. Make sure your 
backup lights. And you, you know, those backup lights, you don't get to see them very often. Right. 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 But we check your lights. Make sure your horn blows. Check your air filter. Look at your belts. Look at your hoses. And we just kind of try to do as much as we can in a, in a very short period of time because most of the time people are in a... Wow, all for the price hurry. of an oil change. All for the price. And on top of that, we're using a very high-quality oil. There's nothing junk. It's, it's all a synthetic blend. Yeah. Diamond event 
all year long. You don't want to miss. It's Goss and Stun Jewelers Million Dollar Diamond and Restyle Event and Sale for three days only. Thursday, April 25th. Friday, April 26th. And Saturday, April 27th from 10 a.m. to 5.30 p.m. each day. The Diamond and Restyle event and sale at Goss and Sun Jewelers will feature a special selection of diamonds in all shapes and sizes. Princess, round, marquees, and radiant cuts. Plus 12 months interest free. Ask for the details. Save on to Corey and Scott Sterling.